I'll tell you another thing about myself, right? I am, I am such a drug addict, right? Am I, I, <laughs> I am. I'm a drug addict. I'm a recovering drug addict. And, uh, and um, yeah, my brain is kind of a bit scrambled from a drug addiction. This is another experience with my actual dad, the dad that, that loves me. Yeah, uh, not, not really. Um, <laughs> So, we've, so yeah, so when I, I, I'd, I'd done a 14-hour, I'm quite a curious guy, I'd done a 14-hour shift, and um, I've got a nighttime routine, so I come home, I wash my face, I wash my penis, and then a cap full of mouthwash, right? And in this kind of bleary, like, hypnagogic, sleepy state, I thought, what if I combine the second and third step? So I pulled back my force, right, First of all, my dad's, my dad's a detective inspector, right? He's a detective inspector. I guess he had to play for rehab. Yeah, yeah, my uh, daddy, daddy Dumps did. Um, so he's seen shit. He's a detective inspector of 30 years. He's seen stuff. And now as he's got to middle age, he's a bit emotionally retentive. He doesn't want to have to deal with any more stuff. He's seen too much stuff. He's seen too much bloody stuff. And as I had the cap full of Listerine, with my foreskin pulled back pouring it on my penis, my dad walked in. <laughs> and as he walked in, he just went, nope. <laughs> Not today. Not today. Too rich for my blood, thank you. But uh, I was, I was going to end with another confessional bit, but I, oh yeah, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it plays. This might kill this room, okay? This, uh, <laughs> this might ruin my life. Um, before I, so I'm this weird combination. I'm a Quaker, uh, and I'm a drug addict and a Quaker. And before I, uh, before I am honestly, <laughs> and before I, uh, before Quaker. Quaker, we just like porridge, Quaker porridge, the, the fellow on the front, <laughs> just porridgey blokes, didn't we? We're just porridgey guys, and um, and but. But before I became a Quaker, I considered uh, like other different religions. So Jainism was one I considered. Like with Jainists, they believe everything's sacrosanct, uh, all life, you shouldn't kill anything. I love animals. I'm a, like an animal rights guy. Um, like if I see a worm, I'll pick up that worm and I'll deposit it into a safe space, right? But sometimes there isn't a safe space for fucking ages. And at that point... I'm just a man walking along with a worm. <laughs> but, the, but the offensive thing is, if, if people see me, they should go, hang on, hang on, that's like a glitch in reality. There's a bloke walking along with a worm. But when they see me, they just go, yeah, yeah. That's uh, very much you walking along with a worm. But now this bit, okay, this is the, this is the bit that's going to... This is going to get bleak. Okay. So when I was young, I loved nature. I was taught to respect animals. I had a wood louse. And as a six-year-old boy, with my overzealous fingers, accidentally broke this woodlouse's pregnancy sack. Right? I killed a dynasty in that one fell swoop. <laughs> How would a normal six-year-old boy uh, deal with that situation, do you reckon? They might be sad, maybe. <laughs> they might laugh. They might laugh. They might be sad. They might go like, mummy, mummy, I've done a bad thing. No. Nah. What I did was I ran myself a bath... I got into that bath, I got a bar of soap, and I shoved it deep into my anus as a form of (laughs) self-flagellation. What the fuck? No wonder I'm on drugs. Fucking weird kid, but uh, yeah, that's enough about me. (laughs) Thank you.